Justine? Yes? Follow me. You know, my dear, you've only been with me three months. But I don't know what I'd do without you. Thank you, my lady. This past week in Paris, I've missed you dreadfully. I don't understand why you beg not to come. I, I'm sorry, my lady. Come, Justine. Now you must help me take my bath. My husband hasn't been unpleasant to you in my absence. He hasn't tried anything else. No, my lady. <laughs> no, of course not. You must tell me all your secrets. Remember, we must share everything together. Everything. What do you want? <laughs> not you, my dear, of course not. Just a favor. Shh, be quiet. Your wife will hear it. She's right next door. I know. It is your closeness to her which makes you so useful. But, but why? If you don't already know, the family's fortune, all this, the house in Paris, the mines, in short, everything, belongs to my wife. All I possess is 50,000 crowns a year, until she dies. <laughs> Each morning, when my wife wakes, you make and bring to her bedside some chocolate. It will be the work of a moment to flavor her chocolate with a pinch of this powder. Remember, once I spared your life, I ask so little in return. Think about it. But, but she's your own wife. Takes courage, doesn't it? And if I refuse? Then I shall tell her that you are planning to murder her yourself. Good night. <laughs> Pleasant dreams. 